Dear students, in this topic, we shall introduce you to the basic principles of hemodynamics. Hemodynamics is the study of physical laws that explain the relationship between pressure and flow of blood through blood vessels of circulatory system. We shall discuss a few important principles of hemodynamics. The first one is that the animals with a closed circulatory system have the blood flow that moves or flows in a continuous circuit. Here, the implication of closed circulation is that the blood returned to the heart is equal to the blood pumped by the heart. This volume is equal because blood is an incompressible fluid. So, the volume of blood returning back to the heart each minute must be equal to the cardiac output that is the volume that is pumped each minute. Yes, students, hemodynamics also studies the velocity of flow in the circulatory system. The velocity of flow of blood at any point is inversely proportional to the total cross-sectional area of the blood vessel. The equation that describes the velocity of flow says that velocity of flow is equal to the blood flow divided by the cross-sectional area of the blood vessel. It implies that blood flow velocity is highest where cross-sectional area is smallest. That is, arteries, jo comparatively larger arteries hain, unka cross-sectional area utna hi chota hota hai aur utna hi unme velocity of blood flow zyada hoti hai. Jabke lowest velocities are seen where the cross-sectional area is largest. Capillaries wo blood vessels hain jahaan par cross sectional area largest hota hai aur is liye blood flow ki raftar minimum hoti hai. Highest velocities occur in the aorta and pulmonary arteries jo ke body ki sab se zyada badi arteries hain jin ka cross sectional area sab se kam hai. Jab ye blood flow karta hua capillaries mein jata hai to velocity of flow falls or decreases. However, capillaries say jab veins mein blood aata hai to yaha par iski velocity phir bada jati hai kyunke veins ka cross-sectional area bhi kam hota hai. Capillaries mein blood flow ki raftar kam hona bohat important functional implications ya significance rakhta hai kyunke slow flow of blood takes time and the exchange of materials which occurs in the tissues also requires time. Is liye, jab capillaries se blood flow slow hota hai, to jo time consuming kaam hai, exchange of materials between the blood and tissues through capillaries that can happen with uh, success. Dear students, Hemodynamics also explains the vascular resistance. Vascular resistance is the resistance to flow offered by the blood vessels. This vascular resistance must be overcome to create flow through the circulatory system. Vascular resistance is increased by vasoconstriction. जिसमें के ब्लड वेसल 
कि का डायमीटर कम हो जाता है और अगर ब्लड की विस्कोसिटी भी ज़्यादा हो तो इससे भी वस्कुलर रेजिस्टेंस में इजाफा हो जाता है जबकि इसके मुकाबले में वेजो डायलेशन यानी कि आर्टिस का या ब्लड वेसल्स का डायलेट होना और लोअर विस्कोसिटी ऑफ ब्लड यानी ब्लड का थिन होना दीज टू फैक्टर्स डिक्रीज दी वस्कुलर रेजिस्टेंस टू फ्लो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वस्कुलर रेजिस्टेंस इज रिलेटेड टू दी वेसल रेडियस वेसल लेंथ एंड ब्लड विस्कोसिटी एंड दिस इज यूज इन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर ब्लड फ्लो एंड कार्डियक फंक्शन डियर स्टूडेंट्स एन अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ हीमोडाइनामिक्स इज द ब्लड प्रेशर दैट इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू द पंपिंग एक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट एज द पंपिंग एक्शन ऑफ हार्ट इज पल्सटाइल सो इज द ब्लड प्रेशर ब्लड प्रेशर इन सिस्टेमिक आर्ट्रीज वेरीज ड्यूरिंग ईच हार्ट बीट दैट इज इट इज पल्सटाइल एंड in one phase this pressure is high high and is known as systolic blood pressure in the other phase it is low and is known as diastolic blood pressure 